Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss about what is mean by with security enforced and without security enforced. Okay. So what is the use of this one and where we need to use and what is the purpose of this one? So these three things we can discuss about in this video. Okay. So first one is I will give you in the high level. So in the high level itself, you in the name itself is showing it is, it is one of the security purpose. Okay. Where we need to use in the SOQL query we need to use. For example, I will tell you, uh, this is one of the example, okay? List account, ACT, ACT1 is the reference name. In this is the query. In this query, if this field last name was uh, don't have permission, then this query will be throw the exception. It will throw the exception, okay? But if the last field, last name have the permission, then it, there is no issues, okay? So if you use the security enforce, then with the security enforced, then you don't have access for the last name, then you will get the exception called insufficient privilege access, you will get the exception. Okay, this is the meaning and here only we need to use the with the security enforce. Okay, so what is the meaning of this one mean? If you use these words like a with the security enforce, it will be checked all the fields permission, field and object level permission, whether you have access or not. Okay, so you if it will check if you don't have access, then it will throw the exception like uh, your, the privilege access not available. If you have access, then there is no issue. It will be applicable for the all the sub queries also. If this is account is the parent object and contact is the child object. Okay, so in the child object also, it will be checked the field level permissions. It will be checked. Okay. So now I will tell you in the theoretical wise, then we can go for the three examples we have, then we can go to the other examples, okay? So, so I will tell you in the theoretical level, it enable field and object level security permissions, okay? It will be available for the field level and object, object level security permission, checking for the SOQL, okay? It will be only for the SOQL only, not SOSL, okay? Apex code including sub queries and cross object relationship. It, it will be applicable for the all the sub queries and cross object also it will be applicable okay for example i told the example only if the last name was don't have permission then if you use this um, query with the security info uh, keyword then it will be through the exception okay so if you remove this one then you won't get any exception okay if you don't have access for last name means this is one of the example so when we need to use i already told now after the where we need to use that one after the where class is one exists else after from the from okay it should be like a uh, from uh, sorry where uh, from a object okay object we can use directly this one or if you have any where condition after the where condition we need to use this keyword okay first point the second point is before any order by limit offset aggregate function okay so if you are going to you do the any group by then before that we need to use okay and limit before we need to use that keyword and before offset we need to use and before uh, aggregate function we need to use these two points we should be remember this one okay now we will go to the example one so this is the example one so uh, if field access for either last name or description is hidden means like a we have one query the account is the parent object the account have two child record like a contacts and the opportunity in the in the two object two of child object how each field one or each object have one one field like a description and last name in this case any one of the field don't have the access okay and if we use this with the security enforce keyword then the system will be throw the exception uh, exception called the insufficient privilege permission similarly you will get the exception Okay, this is the meaning. Well, if you have don't have uh, any one permission, this whole query will be written. The this exception it will throw. Okay, and second one. So second one also like a parent object. You are trying to get the parent object record. Okay, for example, in this uh, this is one of the query. In this uh, in this query, you have one website is called. This is the parent object website. Parent object have one field called website. So at the time also, if you don't have access for website, then you will get the insufficient privilege permission you will get, okay? If the field access was website is hidden, and the if field access for website is hidden, this query throws an exception indicating insufficient privilege permission, 
okay this is the meaning if you don't have access for a uh, parent object also if you use this one you will get the exception and third one so this is the aggregate function you can see before we used the from account we have used this keyword in the aggregate function we should be used before group by we need to use this uh, keyword okay in this in this scenario also if you don't have access for the type then it will be throw the exception okay so if you don't have access for the type also uh, in the aggregate function ag aggregate if you are trying to do the group by functionality then you will get the exception in this one okay so um, this is the meaning for the with the security without security uh, keyword enforce means like a uh, if you don't have the access also we can be able to get the record from the queries okay uh, simply here we have with right similarly we need to use the without if you use this one if you don't have access for the last name then also you will get the uh, the records you will get okay it, it won't be check any permission okay this is the meaning of the without security enforced meaning okay so similarly for the here also without we can use and here also you can use without and here also you can you can use the functionality so now you understand what is the meaning of and where we need to use the with the security and without security okay you may have one question so in salesforce we already have a uh, keywords like a sharing with the sharing and without sharing with the sharing keyword okay with the sharing keyword in class and without sharing without sharing keyword class so just a high level i'll, I'll tell you if we use with the sharing keyword in the class level so how it will be look like means like a, uh, yeah okay. you can see this is one of the class okay so in this class um public with the sharing class this is one of the class and here i use the with the sharing keyword i have used okay if you use this one whatever you have written inside this it always it will be checked for the security permission it will be checked okay but if, if you use like a with the security keyword or without security is a the with the security enforced or without security enforced it won't be considered anything it default it will be run with the uh, security it will be considered okay all the code in the class operate with the enforced sharing rule okay it won't be considered the uh, it, it should consider the uh, sharing rule and security rule and uh, this is the without sharing in the without sharing without sharing means like a, um, it won't be considered the any permission but if you use the query here if you used with the query with the security enforced okay if you use security enforced something security keyword then mm, all the all the functionality it won't or it will run with the without sharing but this query only it will be run with the with the sharing if we in this query don't have access some fields like a name field don't have access then in this query you will get the insufficient privilege permission you will get the exception okay this is the meaning of the with the sharing without sharing keyword with the with the security key enforcing keyword okay so i hope you have understand now uh, if you have any doubt you can able to uh, comment in the uh, comment box i will reply to you okay thank you thanks for watching